What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm still under the weather, unfortunately, as it is, bro. Today, we're going to be talking about Noah J456. Bro uploaded a video calling it Lex Lied. That's insane to me, bro. So we're going to be going over some a couple key points that he has here. Uh, let's just start off with this one video. When Lex first brought Reagan over to the Z house, he told everyone she was 18 years old. Two weeks ago, Lex released a document and a YouTube video titled My Ex in response to the allegations made by his ex-girlfriend Reagan. In those documents, we found out that Lex knew Reagan was underage and lied to all of us in the Z house about it. It is very important to note that when my friends first met Reagan, Reagan had asked me to lie to them about her age. The night that Lex brought Reagan over, he was 19 years old and we thought Reagan was 18 years old because that's what Lex told us. But in reality, Reagan was 16 years old that night, two years below the age of consent in California. Thinking it somehow absolved him of any wrongdoing, Lex then revealed in his video that he knew Reagan was an underage obsessed fan. Another important thing to mention is that Reagan was an obsessive fan of mine. She fetishized me before I even knew who she was. I never used my influence to engage with. So Noah J456 is going ahead and absolutely opening up the floodgates against Mr. T Lex by saying, hey, by the way, Reagan was 16 years old, not 18, and you lied about her age. And I can understand if my homeboy was doing this too. Yo, that's kind of messed up. That's kind of effed up. Um, but I would kind of just disavow him right then and there. And not only that, he ends up going in and saying that he's not only talks to a 13 year old, but consult a 13 year old about his relationship issues. Or, or maybe I'm getting these numbers wrong. Absolutely insane if I am, that's crazy. Um, it's insane. Uh, Noah J456, a popular YouTuber known for his gaming content, particularly around Call of Duty Zombies, faced backlash recently due to a video that he titled Miss T Lexify Lied. The controversy began when Noah accused another YouTuber, Mr. Lexify, lying about certain details in the context of their shared um, platform. The situation ended up escalating because many fans of the community members believe Noah J456 video was unfair, misrepresenting, or overblowing the situation. Additionally, uh, there were concerns about the impact this video could have on Mr. Lexify's reputation. Critics argued that Noah J handled the situation poorly, causing unnecessary drama within the zombies community. The backlash also stems from a broader concern about creators using their platforms to attack others, potentially leading to serious consequences like harassment from fans. This kind of behavior is generally frowned upon, which is why Noah is facing significant criticism. He's also went after uh, Mr. Telexify, which I do disagree with Mr. Telexify for when he was talking about PlayStation Studios and JC Backfire, saying that Lex portrayed this wrong. But in the actual video, um, Lex was referring referring to the Smith plays uh, taking, I forgot the crazy ex's name, but taking her name or taking Reagan's side. The Smith plays was taking Reagan's side with proof being put on the table uh, then believing certain lies from her. So Mr. Telexify went ahead and said, well, how about we use these other lies that Reagan also says against JC Backfire since JC is the moral high horse in this situation. And then just referring, not actually saying concrete, referring that Reagan had said that JC Backfire was cheating on his girlfriend, which was obviously not true. And that's what Lex was using. He was using it as a talking point and not a, a validation point. Lex was talking to a 13 year old fan while he was 20 years old to discuss his relationship problems. Alex was a fan of my channel who had messaged me first because I momentarily opened my Twitter DMs to the public. Alex was the one who initiated the conversation with me. Our communication included a short Skype call during which I discussed the abuse I was currently experiencing with my ex-girlfriend Reagan. The conversation was strictly non-sexual and was never taken anywhere inappropriate. Alex was simply a kind fan that I confided in after a heated argument with my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. Lex put this- Now, Miss T Lexify also, I'm not gonna lie, the hate for Noah J is kind of crazy. I was on the hate wagon for a little bit, but this video kind of makes sense. The what, what you did to Martina, completely, completely stupid, bro. And the mini lad situation at the DJ booth, okay, he gets a pass on that because honestly, Noah J didn't even know he was there. Let's be real. He didn't know he was there. Mr. T likes to find this situation talking to a 13 year old in any aspect of your uh, interpersonal relationships online is still wrong. What do I got to discuss a 13 year old about with me and my wife, right? They don't need to know nothing. They don't need to hear nothing. They don't need to see nothing. They can be nothing. You're 13 years old. There's no reason I should be interacting with you unless it's like a Minecraft video, right? And I have like a hundred players and anyone can join. And that's a little different, right? That's the world of the internet, right? I'm on some, some kid on a Call of Duty game, right? It's crazy. That's like the only way you could really interact with these kids, friending them and then having conversations with them outside the scenes, even if they're not inappropriate, is still inappropriate. I don't know why we skipped over that fact with Mr. Uh, Mr. T Lexify, but somehow I completely missed that and I want to fix, uh, fix the record there. That's a no-no, Mr. T Lexify. My big issue here with the Noah J456 response video is that 
he ends up just pretty much using all this as a weapon against Lex because Lex made a video first responding to the hate and criticism he was getting Mr. Uh, the Smith plays was pretty much just on Mr. T Lex fight here right and you and uh, JC Backfire are in the comments agreeing with them, putting hearts and everything like that. Noja even admits that he put those comments there. Uh, that was the only way he was interacting with it outside of making the uh, said video. The response video you had directly after it was just you apologizing to Martina. You were actually apologizing to your fans about what you did to Martina. And then the mini lad situation. That was the only thing she would address. You then waited two weeks to talk about this. If my friend was out here not only consulting but talking to a 13 year old in manners about his abuse and the allegations with his his girl reagan or whatever i'm disavowing and i'm going live with it um talking to a minor she's 16 not 19 or 18 whatever lex said i'm going live with it i don't care i'm disavowing i don't mess with that bro that is crazy i would not hold on to it and use it as a weapon when this tries to come at me i would not do that that is whack that is stupid it is neurotic and it absolutely undermines the status quo of what it means to actually take down these predators and these uh, doing these predator investigations. I don't think Mr. T likes fight is a predator. Um, 16 and 19, very, very close. It is a little weird, right? But you have to keep in mind, I'm also in the state of New York where 17 is the legal age of consent. It's a little unsettling and uncomfortable and I can agree with that. Um, I personally, I would never do it I would if I was 19. I would never date a 16 year old um when i turned 18 i was like oh dude a whole new dating pool opened up bro 19 20 21 22 23 oh dude i could go after all these girls now right that's that was my mindset but in lex's situation that just was not the case i think that is still statutory rape i still think that is uh, a criminal offense that he did commit but it's not the craziest thing if lex was 27 going after a 16 year old holy bro if that motherfucker was 20 21 going after 16 year old, holy 19 is kind of crazy it's kind of crazy bro bro broke the law broke the law for sure bro that's that's fucking crazy um but then lying about their age to your friends is insane um even though he said that she forced him to nobody forces you nobody forced you to talk to a 16 year old lex nobody forced you to interact with a 16 year old or 13 year old lex nobody forced you to lie about a 16 year old there was no gun pointed to your head you are the final naysayer and everything that goes down in your life uh you surround the people that you want to be like i don't know i'm it's insane to me it's insane to me i just can't i just can't believe anyways moving forward i got these screenshots from martina and noah j456 bro martina's talking about noah j456 the treats by tina over on insta uh she goes that's crazy well i actually appreciate someone telling me the truth since i've had to suppress it this whole time and let noah keep looking like a saint to his fans i'm like wow that's insane first off she's talking about noah j456 completely not addressing the cheating scandal with martina she goes oh yeah that divorce was terrible he truly is the worst and most deceitful person everything is a lie with him but now i'm venting a closed emotion haha <laughs> thanks for letting me know i was legit so confused by people were requesting to follow me all of a sudden well from the looks of things you've got awesome things going on absolutely i debated because blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we don't really care what the sender is saying martina goes i probably won't watch because i don't like uh watch their videos anymore but thanks yeah it was more than edc but that is one occasion of it yeah Wait, I'm confused. Why would Lex tell people that? Noah basically threatened me not to tell anybody. That's insane. That is insane. Martina was pretty much threatened into suppression by Noah J456. He's got to come out. He's got to come out and address that. That is a crazy situation, but that is a whole other situation not related to the Miss T Lex fight situation. If you guys want to update on that one, let me know. Martina silenced after divorce. Noah J threatening legal lawsuits. EDC? what else dude the zombie community is in shambles we got we got pedos we got we got cheaters we got hackers and then we got nice guys like matt mc sports hawk who has just been in this forever we got milo making no nonsense uh cod zombies videos this is crazy i let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'll see you all the next one subscribe if you're brand new are you team lex team noah uh i'm gonna tell you right now they're both idiots you guys are both scum and i'm out of here